so what we have here is Simon's metabolic data from the test he just completed. And it just has a measure of all the metabolic data he had in 15 second intervals throughout the test. So as you can see here up on the top left, we've got time. Next to that is ventilation, breaths per minute, heart rate, fraction of expired oxygen, his VO2 value, the load he was going at in watts, um, also the phase, whether it was the rest, warm-up or exercise phase, and it also has his absolute values and energy expenditure as well. So if we go down, you'll see that the data is taken every 15 seconds and it will gradually go up. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, we see that Simon's VO2 max phase has been identified here. So he hit his VO2 max at the 20 minute 30 mark. Um, and he had a heart rate of 186, and his VO2 max was a massive 80.0 at 360 watts, which is a pretty phenomenal value. Um, you know, elite endurance athletes, Chris Froome, for example, sits around 86. Uh, Lance Armstrong was reported as having 84. So uh, in terms of his relative VO2 max value, that is uh, well, in, well into the elite category. Other data that you'll receive from this test, if you like your data, is um, we have graphs of everything that is, is written up here. So down at the bottom here, we have tabs which go through um, all the different pieces of data and graph it out nicely for you to view. Um, from this, this is how we, we create the heart rate and power training zones by using this data. Uh, and it's just a good visual representation to keep, so that way you can know that you improve next time you come around.